Hey guys, today it is time to look at what a real man of God is. Ask yourself, are you a man of God? It is time to look at the truth, the Bible as your mirror. You need to trust scripture to show you who you really are and what you need to do to be a real man of God. Let me give you an example of what I mean. When you get ready in the morning, you never just trust yourself, your feelings, to tell you that you look good after shaving, combing your hair and putting on your clothes. You need a mirror to show you the truth of what you really look like. You can't just rely on your feelings or intellect. So you trust the mirror to show you what you really look like on the outside. And in the same way, you need to trust God's word over your own feelings to show you what you really look like on the inside and what you need to do to be a man of God. So, what is a man of God? How do you identify a true man of God? What is the evidence? Well, let's get into the video. All right, now a true man of God is not the same as the rest of the world, the sinful world. He's been set apart. He is a new creation. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who though Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. A true man of God is a man who has been spiritually reborn. A new creation who accepted Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. And in so doing, he became a child of God. He received God's Spirit in him. New spiritual life. And that is why he is set apart a new creation. Today, there's a lot of fake Christians and also a lot of lukewarm Christians. But you know, I remember those days where my dad, a true man of God, talked about other men who truly worship God. Men of God, who worship God with everything that they are, mind, body, spirit. Men like Watchman Nee, Andrew Murray, Billy Graham, D.L. Moody, George Whitfield, Jonathan Edwards, Charles Spurgeon, and John Wesley. I always enjoyed listening to my dad when he talked about these men. He read their books of how they walked with God every single day, how they prayed without ceasing, how they studied the Word of God, walking with the living God. And I wanted that. Wow! These men had a special relationship with God. I wanted a special relationship with God, like David who was a man close to God's heart. Acts 13 verse 22, He raised up David to be their king, of whom he testified and said, I have found in David, the son of Jesse, a man after my heart, who will do all my will. Wow! A man after my own heart, who will do my will. Is that you? Are you a man that's doing God's will? Or are you still doing your own thing on this temporary world that actually just means nothing? And so, how do you know God's will? Well, it is impossible if you're not spiritually reborn because you can only worship God in spirit and in truth. And it is only the spirit that knows the thoughts of God. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 11. For who knows a person's thoughts except the spirit of that person which is in him? So also no one comprehends the thoughts of God except the spirit of God. And Jesus said in John 3 verse 3. Truly. I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. And 1 John 5 verse 4 says, For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world. Our faith. Man of God, a true man of God is in the world, but he is not part of this world. He has overcome this world and the sin of this world. He is an overcomer through his faith. A man of God is led by the Holy Spirit to live holy in front of a holy God. He wants to please God with everything that he's doing every single day of his life. 
He has a deep desire to please God. That's why David said in Psalm 51 verse 10, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Have you done it? Have you asked God to create a clean heart within you? An upright spirit that lives righteously, that lives holy before God Almighty. He in you and you in Him. That is what God, your Father, wants from His Son. Jesus says in John 15 verse 4, Abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. This is what it means to be a true man of God. A man who has fully surrendered every single aspect of his life to God. Who wants to please Him with everything that He is. Mind, body and spirit. Mark 12 verse 30 says, And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. A man of God does not live for this temporary world because his eyes are fixed on the unseen, not on that which he can see, this temporary world that's just fading away. His eyes are fixed on Jesus Christ, on the bigger picture. He is the man of Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He will make straight your paths. A true man of God is not arrogant, he is not boastful, thinking he is always right. He does not lie or break his promises. He does not pitch up to work late. He does not make excuses. He does not use foul language in the week while praising God on Sundays. A true man of God does not boss his wife around. He gently leads her and his family in true love, like Christ leads the church. His Bible does not gather dust because he uses it every day. A man of God knows what the Lord requires of him. Micah 6 verse 8 says, He has told you, O man, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you, but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God. A man of God is not a lukewarm Christian. Because if you are a lukewarm Christian, God will spit you out of His mouth. Revelation 3 verse 16 So because you are lukewarm and neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. Some of you who are watching this video right now might think that you are a Christian, but you are not. You are lukewarm. You just grew up in the church. It's all just religion tradition for you. You don't have a real relationship with God. And I want you to examine yourself today. Look at the Word of God and truly be honest with yourself. 2 Corinthians 13 verse 5. Examine yourselves to see whether you are in the faith. Test yourselves. Or do you not realize this about yourselves? That Jesus Christ is in you. Unless indeed you fail to meet the test. If you are a true man of God, you will not continue to live in sin like the rest of mankind. No, because you are a new creation and you will pursue that which is right. Righteousness. 1 Timothy 6 verse 11. But as for you, O man of God, flee these things. Pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, steadfastness, gentleness. A man of God who lives by faith through faith is a warrior of Jesus Christ. Are you a warrior? Are you watchful? Do you stand firm in the faith? 1 Corinthians 16 verse 13. Be watchful. Stand firm in the faith. Act like men. Be strong. Too many men today, men who call themselves Christians, are boastful, arrogant, prideful. They don't care about their neighbors. They don't love their neighbors as themselves. Ask yourself, do people see God in you? Do they know 
that you care about them. James 2 verse 8, if you really fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. A man of God does not want more of himself. He wants less of himself and more of Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ, he was the perfect man here on earth, the perfect example. And that is what we are chasing. We became Christians, declared as righteous, right? But then we have a whole road of sanctification. And on this road of sanctification, our aim is to be like Jesus Christ. Blameless, perfect, and full of love. 1 John 2 verse 6, Whoever says he abides in him ought to walk in the same way in which he walked. And Ephesians 5 verse 1 says, Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children, and walk in love as Christ loved us and gave Himself up for us, a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. You need to understand this, especially if you are a new believer. A true man is not a man that can hold his alcohol and beats his wife, or who leaves his kids at home when he is at a bar drinking. He's not the man who looks like a bodybuilder or the man who can swear the most in one sentence. Do you know what is a real man? A real man is a man who loves Jesus Christ and who follows Him in His footsteps every day of his life. A man who has been spiritually reborn, led by the Spirit, living through the Spirit every single day of his life, not just on Sundays. He is a man who has been made new, a new creation. And he understands that without Jesus, he is nothing. He cannot do anything. But with Jesus, <laughs> with Jesus, he can do all things through God who strengthens him. Take my life in 